Good morning from day number 11 of our road trip around California and Nevada in the USA. This morning we went for a look around Mammoth Mountain which is just up there. And now after having a look around Mammoth Mountain, the ski area was open, it looked awesome, I was very jealous. We have now decided to come just a little bit down the hill, about 15 miles, to an area, a massive area of flatland, where there is many natural hot spring rock pools. So we've come to the first one, definitely will not be getting in it, but it is really hot and it looks quite... No, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> It's, it's like a bathtub, clearly it's been made for this and it is very hot, it is very hot but it's very mossy, it's obviously like basically stagnant water so it is very quite mossy and doesn't look the most inviting however it is really nice and warm to be fair but I think on this area there's about three or four different rock pools, different hot springs and this one wasn't very well rated but there's a couple others that are highly rated for going in for a, a dip in the hot water so we're going to check out some of the other ones and hopefully find one that we can maybe go in and get a wee bath Well, the road to that hot spring was absolutely horrendous. So bumpy, not pleasant at all. We have just came off of the main road towards the next hot spring. The road is not as bad, it's still bumpy. It's just like a gravel road. It's nowhere near as bad as the first one. So fingers crossed we're not on it for too long and we should come across the second hot spring. We have arrived at the second set of hot springs. These are the ones that are the highest rated. They're called Willie's Hot Springs. And it looks like, unless anyone has walked literally a country mile to get here, it looks like we're gonna be the only people here. So we will go and check them out and see if they're any good. And if they look like they're worth a dip into, we can go back and get on our swimsuits. I thought my jumper would be enough, but it is a little chilly. There's also a family here having a bit of a palava. But we have found them, and they're significantly bigger than the first set. It's like little rock pools that all trickle down. Yeah. There's actually loads of steam coming off it, and these ones... Oh, look, all the fish. There's loads of little fish in it. These oh. ones here definitely seem more inviting than the last ones. Well, they maybe did until you saw the fish. Well, yeah, but they're on the bottom bit. They yeah. definitely seem more inviting. There's, there's it's more movement in the water, so it's not as stagnant. So it looks amazing to go in, but we don't think it's worth going all the way back to the van, which is quite a big walk away to get to. But thanks to amazing dad technology, I'm going to be able to get in here. Just a second. Now with my trousers are short, I'm going to get in and dip my toes. So when we get to the top, well, we're basically finished with the wooden bits. I just put my shoes on, I think. Now that I've finished at the hot geysers, or hot springs, whatever you want to 
column. Another great feature of our van here is outdoor shower at the back. There's also one of these at the big front door. Outdoor shower at the back, you can have hot or cold water. To have the hot water, you have to have had the hot water heater on. We're not doing that to save LPG, but anyway, if you wanted to have it on, you could have hot water. We're going for the cold. Woo. Oh, and cold it is. <laughs> 